Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for your next 48 hour. And uh, thanks for joining me. So we ask that your spirit guides and your angels join too so that we get messages for your most high. I do offer private readings. If you're looking for a private reading, just make sure you email me where to send the reading after you have paid. And getting right into this, using Modern Witch Tarot Deck. For Virgos. For Virgos. Oh. What is this extra, extra page of swords, extra card? Information, doing your research, it's your information. Maybe it's something that will help you move past a decision that can't be postponed anymore. Something like that, something like it's time to decide. Time to decide what you're going to do, possibly, or how a situation is going to be kind of like changed for you. Wow, that tower reverse has been coming out for a few people. Everything is fine. We're going to get another card with that just because, okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of how you want it to be. That's okay. All right, all right, so an unavoidable moving past a stalemate. Um, anything that was blocked or anything you felt like you couldn't move past, it's moving past that. All right, so past energy, we have justice. So you could be dealing with a Libra or this could just be about you seeing truth and clarity in a situation. Um, having truth and clarity in a situation, having... Um, well, feeling like the scales can balance then. So what is to be revealed or what isn't revealed here with the sun in reverse? Issues with communication. Another page of swords in the reverse. Don't believe everything that you hear. And yes, there are still family issues to solve. It has to do with the issue with no communication, Virgo. So it has to do with more communication, opening up. Um, to allow good news to come in in the first place. Um, it's, I feel like it's the news that's going to let your sun shine. I feel like this, whatever this news is that comes in, it's going to help solve major family issues, bringing back that um, security. Let's see. So the Four of Cups is in the reverse as the challenge. Meaning that um, it's a challenge sometimes to just get actually like what you're wanting to manifest in front of you. At the heart of the matter, there's either going to have to be a, a change in the way of thinking and like towards um, more positive, calmer waters, or that's an actual physical move. It's in the spot where it's the heart of the matter. So it might be on how your heart feels. Um you just may feel like you need you need some good news. You know what I mean? Like you need the sun to shine because you haven't heard anything in for a while. All right. So tell me more about the six of swords. This um, heart wanting to leave. The heart's wanting to. Ooh, withdraw. Okay, so that sun in reverse. It's actually it's talking about withdrawing your energy from a situation that. It just keeps hurting so much. Um, not putting any more energy into it. So that might be what that's talking about. For the how you're feeling, I have seven of swords reversed and the everything is fine card coming out, right? So obviously everything is starting to get better. And the seven of swords, how you're feeling, it's in the reverse. I feel like you're having... This um, time where you have wise discernment, like if somebody tried to sneak around or do something behind your back, I don't think they would be able to. I think you could see right through anything like that, any kind of lies, lying, cheating, stealing, anything like that. And I don't necessarily think that's really even present, um, but I think the ability for you to see it is the queen of wands in the reverse is kind of like... um Sometimes this is my card about dating and that putting yourself back out there in that 
but but be having kind of a fear of doing that and that's why it would be in the reverse or it could be like i'm just not brave enough or bold enough to um possibly deal with the tower in reverse which is rebuilding from what fell so tell me about how maybe we can get more um boldness with that queen of wands how do we get more boldness into or or maybe it's a decision a uh, rebuilding versus versus putting yourself out there and building something different who there's regrets loss sadness disappointment find out in what what's the disappointment in oh god somebody just really um hurt you um betrayed you they're not able to sneak around maybe they are caught doing something um I don't know. I see this as a major betrayal. The Ten of Swords. There's something that is so major that it's making you want to uh, leave. Hmm. So the Five of Wands is the future energy. And I'm telling you that could be like if you... Maybe if you're not getting away from this energy. Yeah. There's something that's just not ending. It's not transforming. And it's stuck in this... Um, Arguing, back and forth, arguing, arguing, arguing. Competition, games, foolery, that stuff's there. And that hurts. It's a, it's, it's a lot here. This reading is a lot, actually, energetically. Um, the Five of Pentacles, don't worry about feeling uh, left out or feeling like you're in a hardship because all you can think of is how to get out of it and how to be... Um, Feeling more uh, rest assured with your situation. Maybe that's with money or with food, um, health. Whatever it is that you feel like you lack, this is you um, reversing that and and co coming out of that situation. Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles and the reverse is... There's, it feels like there's more options in what you're giving to yourself or more paths or possibilities. Um, the one that you're thinking of, it feels like it involves you letting go of something and or someone um, that maybe maybe you had no choice in the matter. Maybe it feels like you have no choice in the matter because why? Because of this, because these ten of swords. So also you could be like very sobered up. If that makes sense, you can be really sober and, and seeing things very, very clearly for how they are. Maybe that's also causing you to be like, no, there's really only so many possibilities. I would say do your own research. Get get your facts straight um, because there might be something that's just really not clear here that you've been hearing. Tell me about that four pentacles. What is, um, oh, okay. The whole situation with leaving, um, uh, wherever you're going or whatever you're doing, it's all about perspective. When the wheel of fortune's here in reverse, it means that all of this that you've went through or are going through is to get you to a better area in your life, somewhere that um, you're going to have, well, was the, it might seem like you have better luck and everything, but it's only because you're getting away from this energy. Yeah, I would say you're probably making the decision that you do want a peaceful resolution, but heck, right now, you're sitting in judgment in reverse, so you're feeling this. Jeez, here, let's get some advice from Spirit for your read, because that's a heavy read there, Virgo. me advice from spirit for Virgos what they should do with this energy communicate um, the lines of communication that have been down that have caused um, maybe a lot of misunderstandings if the if the communication is open more or you allow it to be more open um, some air problems will be solved just from that just from a misunderstanding possibly Okay, tea leaves for Virgo. 
Pig, be aware of greed. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. It's these. Uh, and then pineapple, a reconciliation to reconcile. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Virgos. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.